Uh, my name is William Kay. I work at Oxford University. I'm a, I'm a postdoc there um, and I'm working on um, an element within the Biochamp project that surrounds the microbes that um, help mushrooms to grow. So the work package that, um, that I work on um, is surrounding the microbiota, so all the microbes that exist within, within the mushroom farm. And we're trying to figure out which ones are helpful and which ones are a hindrance. So a lot of the bacteria are good um, and we can use them for positive things within the mushroom growing system. Um, but a number of bacteria are pathogens and they cause things like brown blotch, um, which you'll probably see in supermarket mushrooms when you buy them, um, and also fungal pathogens um, that are competitive, so we get less mushrooms produced inside the, inside the mushroom farms. So we're trying to figure out which of the microbes that we're working on can be helpful. And when we figure that out, the aim is to take the best three um, and artificially add them to the mushroom farms to make sure that the mushroom farms are able to produce the best fruits and the best uh, and the highest numbers that they can with the smallest losses. Um, the goal of the work package is to understand the, um, the microbes within a mushroom farm which are helpful, which are a hindrance and which ones we might be able to use to take forward to help mushroom farming in general. In terms of reaching our overall goal, we have very good candidates. Um, we have candidates that are able to help control the mushroom pathogens. We have candidates that are able to promote the growth of mushrooms. And we have, yeah, so we have a number of candidates that we are at the moment taking into small scale and soon to be large scale trials to, um, to see if we're, if we're reaching our goal. In a laboratory based situation, um, all these bacteria work very well in the ways we want them to, but the difficulties come in stepping those up to, to larger farms. So that's where we are at the moment. Okay, so in the next six months, um, there are other questions I'm looking to answer. So not about whether our bacteria can control the fungal pathogens of mushrooms, but more about whether we can find bacteria that help those mushrooms to grow. So whether they can produce larger numbers of mushrooms or whether that mushroom crop, which for example, might take 14 days now, can come down to sort of 12 or 13 days, because every small improvement helps.